Yo, Camp Crew, what's good? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, about two days ago, we had the photos of the Amamayera and Jordan 2 collaboration released, and everybody is, like, hyped up about it. And the question just came to mind. Are they overdoing it? Are they oversaturated? Are they bringing it back to back too much, too close in time? And I just wanted to give y'all my opinion of what I think about the sneaker that's about to release. Of course, we don't have them in hand just yet, but I just wanted to give y'all my two cents and what I think about it. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into this. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Let's go. Yo, what's good? It's your homeboy Camcorder Banks and welcome to my channel Cooler with Camcorder. This is where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and of course, menswear fashion. So if this is your first time tuning in to my channel, this is something that you're interested in, I want you to go ahead and smash on that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment down below and let me know you rocking with the tribe, you dig? Now today, I'm talking about the Jordan 2 I'm on My Year collaboration that's about to release soon. We just had photos drop about two days ago. If I'm keeping it a buck with you, I I have not been a fan of twos. The only time I really got interested in twos was when the Don C came out with his blues and then he had the Arctic Orange that came out and I thought they were just fire. So I really do think that if you do put a Jordan 2 out and you have a collaboration, you have to make it look luxurious. But when people actually design it and they put their luxury feel on it, that's when I really get interested. Now, if we thinking about the Union LA joints that actually came out, the two sneakers that they released, I thought those was decent. I won't say that they was fire. Those was actually pretty decent, but they didn't grab my attention enough for me to be like, yo, I want to actually body. But now that we have the I'm on my years that actually dropped, I'm actually interested and I'm like, yo, maybe I just need to go ahead and grab these. Now, first off, that burgundy touch, I think that's their signature piece. Every sneaker that they have been dropping all for all three of them, they have like this signature color pattern that they have. It's like this white, off-white color, this sail color. Then you have this burgundy hit. So it's kind of like they signature. So I don't think I've seen any other people do sneakers like that. I mean, Union LA do stuff that's like centered around like specific colors. But I mean, three out of three, like I'm on my year, it's hitting right on the head with this burgundy color, this sail, this white. But I'm really liking what they're doing with this Jordan 2. I like that they brought the idea from the Jordan 1 with this crushed leather that they have. I mean, I was blown away when I had mine. But like I was saying, the leather on here was fire. So I like the idea that they took that crushed leather from the Jordan 1 and actually put it on the 2. So at the same time, you kept it clean. But at the same time, you kept it with a luxury feel. And I think that's a great idea. All right, now for anybody asking, the anticipated date for these to be released is April 29th and they will be going on released on the I'm on my year website and they will be going for 225. And you'll be able to actually shop on sneakers app. So best of luck to you because everybody is gonna be going for these. So I'm not too sure if we'll really have the opportunity to get them, but we'll see. We already know how to resale game go, but we will see. All right, now as far as them dropping sneakers back to back, do I actually think that they're overdoing it? You could, th you could look at it in two ways, if I'm being honest. From a good marketing standpoint, with me working in marketing like I think that this is a great idea, kind of like strike the iron why it's hot. Because we already know that a lot of people in the sneaker culture today, literally right now how sneaker culture is today, you are as hot as the next sneaker that release. So I mean like if some sneaker here say like, yo, this is fire and they put it on a blog and somebody else think it is and somebody else think it is, they are not thinking about the sneaker that just released last week or three days ago. It's in and out the window and everybody's trying to grab and sell instead of actually grab the sneaker, wear it, show it around, actually get some wear and tear out of it. I don't think that people are taking the time to soak in how fire the sneaker is. So yeah, strike while the iron is hot, I think that's a good idea. But at the same time, on the other hand, I think you should space it out a little bit. Just because these sneakers that they are releasing, a lot of people are considering them to be like sneaker of the year. Last year, everybody said the sneaker of the year, of course, with the I'm on my year threes. That goes without saying. Those sneakers right there are legendary. Now, when the ones came out just before the year had ended, that made everybody go crazy as well. And I thought those was actually fire, but I will consider those to be like second place compared to the Jordan 3s. Now, with them dropping these twos right now, I would say those are more so in third place. I still think they are smooth. I think they are fire, but I think they should have just gave it a little bit of time 
for people to soak it in. This will kind of like alter what the sneaker culture is going through right now because like I said, the iron is hot, but you gotta strike while it's hot, right? So you don't cool down, so people don't forget about you because the sneaker culture's mind, how, how quick their mind moves. They see a sneaker, they think it's hot, and they forget about you last week. Nobody thinks about you. But at the same time, if you had stretched it out a little bit more, it would have actually gave some time for people to soak in what the Jordan 3 is. And it gave people some time to actually style it, not just wear it and sell it or wear it and put it in their closet or put it on the shelf or something like that. It will give people time to like comprehend like how fire this is. But with them dropping sneakers back to back to back, I think it has, it, it has placed a spot in people's mind as far as the sneaker culture and resellers that they always gotta keep releasing back to back in order for them to be hot. What I would like to see is if I'm on my year in the Jordan collaboration, just take their time. They, I'm sure they have taken their time to create the shoe. Take time to space it out. Alter how people's thinking and their buying process will be and try to shift the sneaker culture alone because you are known as the hottest sneaker around right now. Having that Jordan 2, having that Jordan 3, having the Jordan 1, those put together and dropping back to back, I get the idea of striking while the iron is hot. It's a great idea, it's a great strategy. Get your money up, get known and everything before it dies down and everybody forgets about you. But I think it will be more effective if you could shift people's thinking. Give them time to process how fire the Jordan 3 is. Everybody's already saying it. Now give them time to wear it. Give them time to style it. Give it time to just sit up in that sneaker collection for a while and then remind them how fire it is. Once the heat dies down, you drop the ones and you give people time to soak it in. Give them time to style it. Give it time to sit around for a little bit. Give them time to process it and actually use the sneaker. But I mean, hey, what can I say? I'm just somebody who actually just has an opinion of what I think will be a great idea to sell sneakers that if you're gonna drop them back to back. That's just me. Now I done grabbed a lot of y'all time. I really wanna know y'all thoughts. I really want you to drop those comments down below. Do you think it was a good idea that they continuously bring these sneakers out back to back? Do you think they should space it out? I want you to drop those comments down below and let me know what you think. Do you even think that this is fire? Do you think it should earn a place in dropping on April? Should it actually release? least or do you think it should give more time and wait until a couple more months drop those comments down below let me know what you think i'm really interested in finding out what y'all think and while you at it go ahead and hit that like button because y'all already know it helps the channel a lot more and while you at it go ahead make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell if this is your first time and tribe i appreciate y'all as always but i'm about to get up out of here man i'm gonna catch up with y'all on the next vibe man when i find some more fire sneakers that i want to talk about y'all gonna hear about it so with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here man i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all all right peace